Hi, and welcome to this animation tutorial for beginners for iMovie. Let's get straight to the point and have a look at the demo video we'll recreate together in this tutorial. It's a 20 second demo animation for an imaginary company. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At Photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right, pretty awesome, right? And don't worry, if this looks a bit overwhelming right now, I promise you'll be able to do the exact same thing in iMovie right after watching this video. Now, there are multiple ways to produce animation and in this tutorial for beginners, I'll show you what I think is the absolute simplest, easiest and fastest way. We will use something called stock animation, which is a library of ready to use assets that enable you to have access to professional level animations at your fingertips that you can have right now in iMovie within minutes with literally drag and drop simplicity. However, if your goal is to become a professional animator and build all of these yourself from scratch, that requires around a thousand hours to acquire those skills and this tutorial is not for you. And unfortunately, that process is not even possible in iMovie. If you like to skip all that boring stuff though and get straight to the end result right now instead of months from now, if you like to have the same quality of animations right now after watching this video without any previous experience or animation skills, then please keep watching. And as a bonus, I'll provide all the stock animation assets from this tutorial for you for free so that you can also follow along in iMovie. Download link in the description. Alright, so here we are in iMovie. So whenever you start any sort of animation project, whether it's a sales video, explain a video, training video or whatever it is, you usually first start with an idea, you put that into words and write a script. And from that script, you most often would record the voiceover as well, which I already have here. And if you're going to use uh, stock animation to produce this uh, animated video, then you have to go online and find a bunch of uh, suitable and relevant stock animation clips for your scenes. So I already went ahead and did all of this. I have all my files here. And don't worry, I'm going to show you at the end of the video the best place online where you can find stock animation. So let's go ahead and select all my assets here. I got my stock animation. I got my voiceover down here. And here I got some uh, royalty free music for the background. So let's go ahead and import this media into our iMovie project. All right. So because of the way iMovie works, it, it, it's an amazing software because it's free, right? But it has certain limitations. So the way we're going to start this is by first adding the background video because that's going to be our main storyline, like our A role. Sorry, not background video, but just background color. So in our case, let's just, let's just go with white because I think this is going to look pretty good with, uh, with a stock animation that we have. So now if we go back to my media, first I would like to import the voiceover, which is this one right here, because you want everything that's happening on screen to... Uh, to match what's being said in the voiceover. So as you can already see from the waveform, I don't know if you've seen a waveform before, but this thing going up and down is basically a waveform and it's telling you that someone is saying something at this point in time. And when there's basically nothing like here or here or even here, let's say, that's basically a uh, break. So we can already know by looking at the waveform that this is scene number one all the way to here. And then this is scene number two, all the way to here. And then this is another sentence, all the way to here, and so on. So this is going to be important later on once we start adding our stock animation clips. But let's go ahead and add some uh, music as well. Please, are you stressed in front of the camera? But obviously the music is too loud. So you want to uh, reduce the volume to, let's say, I don't know, 16%. Camera? At Photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. All right, cool. Now let's actually zoom out a little bit on the timeline because the music is just way too long. It's uh, our project is just 20 seconds. So let's do that and then zoom back in. All right, cool. So now we have the, uh, the background, we got the voiceover and we got the music. 
So let's go ahead and see what the voiceover says first. Tired of taking selfies? All right, so for this uh, opening scene, I'm going to use um, this clip right here of a woman taking a selfie. As you can see, it's pretty cool. And when I add it here, you can see it's a pretty long clip. It's like 10 seconds or so, right? But I only want to use it from here all the way to here. So basically like, I don't know, one, two seconds maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through it and see which one is the best part that I like. So let's try all the way from here, let's say. So I'm gonna trim the beginning like this and then move it right all the way to the front and move my playhead here where the scene ends and then trim the ending as well. So let's see that. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? All right, so in the next scene, we're talking about uh, being stressed in front of the camera, which is this clip right here of the same character, same woman being stressed, raising her hands in disbelief or uh, stress, basically. So let me just drag and drop this here as well. Make sure it snaps perfectly. Put the playhead here because I want to end it perfectly here. And then trim the ending as well. And as you can see, we have... Uh, different actions from the exact same character so you can tell your story. We can have access to uh, different characters as well, different ethnicities. We can have access to the same character here actually but dr just dressed uh, more formally. It's gonna make sense in a minute. So anything that you need you're gonna be able to tell your story. All right so let's keep going. Camera at photoshoot123.com we got you covered. All right cool so this is where you introduce the uh, you would introduce the logo or the website. But unfortunately, the way iMovie works is you cannot have more layers on top of each other, only the main layer here and the B-roll here. So we can only add either the title or the logo. So I'm just gonna go ahead with a title. So let's go under here to titles. And there's a bunch of different presets from, um, from iMovie, uh, depends on which one you like. Let me see which one did I want to reveal. Yeah, I think reveal could be a good one. So let me just drag and drop this one here. Make sure it snaps here perfectly. And it ends. Um, we got you covered. All the way to here. So trim the ending. And now if I look at the text right here, it's um it, it needs a couple of uh modifications, let's say. So let's uh go ahead and double click on the text layer here on the timeline. And now I can actually select all of it here and type photoshoot123.com, which is the name of the imaginary company. Now I'm going to select all of the text like this and let's change it to, I don't even know, let's say Helvetica Neue Bold. But most importantly, we want to change the color to black. So go there to the color picker and move the slider all the way to black. And there you have it. So now we have a lot more contrast and we can actually read the text. So that's awesome. Now let's keep going. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. All right, so this scene could be a little bit more dynamic and I wanted to add this uh, LinkedIn icon. So drag and drop this one here. And it would be nice if I could actually add this one on top as well, but it doesn't allow me. Because again, as I said, iMovie, it's an amazing software, but it's free and it's supposed to be simple. So it only allows you to have two items on screen at the same time. And in our case is the background and this one, right? So actually I'm not gonna be able to have the icon and the woman at the same time, but I'm just gonna have them one after another. So in the beginning, we're talking about LinkedIn and then halfway through the scene, all the way to here, we're talking about updating your profile. So now we want to have the exact same woman, but dressed a little bit more professionally because we're talking about LinkedIn and it's a more formal setting. So let's see how that looks. We got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps. All right, so new scene, we're talking about updating your dating apps and we have this uh, nice clip of this woman playing with her phone. So let me just drag and drop this here. And again, this is a long one and we only need it on screen for like a second, a second and a half maybe. So I want to select what I think is the best part of it. So for me, the best part is right here where she raises her hand and moves it to the phone. 
All right, so trim the beginning because we want to remove that part. And then now move it all the way in the right place here. And based on the waveform, this is where the scene ends, right? And then trim the ending as well. And let's see what we have. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. All right, so here you can add either one of those characters because we're talking about people falling in love with her. So just drag and drop this here. And again, this is a long one. And I really like the part where the character kind of leans in on his leg like this. So as previously, I will just trim the beginning like this. All right, and now move it into the correct place on the timeline. Make sure the timing matches. This is the right place to start. And around here, let's say, is the right place to end because a new scene is going to start. All right, let's have a look. And have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the video, and now it's a moment of celebration. It's, it's the final happy solution for the main character. So we have this animation of her being happy, cheering, raising her hands in celebration, right? Nothing too fancy. All pretty straightforward. All right, and let's see what we have next. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right. Tired of taking... Oops. All right, so for the ending right here, uh, I think we can just use, for the call to action, we can just use this uh, same text animation as we have it here. So I'm just going to right-click copy, then uh, go here, and I'm just going to click Command V, and it's going to paste the, um, the thing that we just copied here. So now I just pasted these, this, uh, photo, this photoshoot.com text layer, but actually I'm going to double-click on it because I want to edit the text because the call to action was saying sign up now and say exclamation mark. All right, and actually I should make it a little bit shorter like this, maybe too much, and actually just extend the white background a little bit, and maybe down here extend the music as well. So we can just, um, you know, have a little bit more time to sit on this uh, text before it disappears. Now and get started. All right, so if you notice, the music kind of ends abruptly. So. I'm going to go here and grab it here at the corner where the cursor changes to those two arrows. And if you drag it like this, it's going to add a very nice and very smooth fade out for the audio, for the music. So let's uh, check that out. Sign up now and get started. All right, awesome. So let's see all the way from the beginning what we made so far together. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At Photoshoot123.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. All right, that's pretty awesome, right? And if you think about it, we literally only spent, I don't know, maybe around 10, 15 minutes to create this beautiful piece of animation that's 20 seconds long, right? So imagine how much time you can save by using stock animation. Like you don't even need, as I said, you don't need any previous experience, any animation experience. You just need some very basic iMovie editing skills like this. You just drag and drop the stock animation assets from an animation library and you're good to go. So pretty much anyone can achieve the same level of professional animations in their iMovie with the help of stock animation. Now, the big question is, where can you find stock animation? You might be able to find some animation clips here and there on big stock platforms, but those are rare because they usually specialize in stock footage shot with a camera. So for them, animation is not even an afterthought. The only place online dedicated exclusively to stock animation is Videoplasty.com, the world's only animation-first stock platform. Full disclosure, I'm Edward Stunga, founder of Videoplasty. We built Videoplasty with one single goal in mind, to make animation easy, simple, and accessible to everyone, regardless of budget or previous animation experience. That's why we build and curate professionally animated assets 
that you can have access to with drag and drop simplicity, compatible with all of your favorite video editing software. Have a look on the website, we have plenty of characters, icons, scenes and a lot more. Our items are generally sold individually, but are also available in bundles at a massively discounted price. Pricing is also very simple and straightforward. You can either pay per item, or you can choose a monthly subscription with download credits or unlimited downloads. Use the discount code in the description to get 25% off your first order. This was Edward Stinga, founder of Videoplasty.com. If you watched all the way to the end, you are awesome. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, stay creative.